Who is the last black author that you read? Oh, I'm so glad to say this right now um, because I, I've been trying to find ways to uh, share the story of One Drop with younger people. Um, so I've been thinking about a children's book and I, um, I really, yeah, I, I, I want to figure out how to make this something that, especially I think my niece and nephew, right? I want them to, to know this, this story and especially the history around the census. So I'm like, how do I do this? And so I started learning about children's books and kind of looking things up and trying to learn. And I found this incredible author named Zeta Elliott. And she, and, and the first book of hers I got is called Milo's Museum. It's, um, it's a, I think it's called a picture book. I'm still learning all the <laughs> correct terminology, right? But, but it's about this young black girl who goes on a school trip to, um, to a museum and she doesn't see herself and she doesn't see her family. And so she um, goes home and, and she's got a black auntie <laughs> who, you know, uh, who, oh, I wish everybody could have like a black auntie, Same. like this black auntie, right? Who Myself included. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. You can have my family. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, sh and, and she makes the museum for herself. She makes a museum at her home and she has her neighbors come over. Um, so and, and Zeta Elliott self-publishes. So she's I, I mean, she's just all around beautiful author that I love. I love it. <laughs> what black historical figure resonates with you the most and why? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Right. OK. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Malcolm X. Um, I would love for it to be a woman. Um, but there's so much uh, about his story that, and and I, and probably a lot of that is because I learned his story. I was fortunate to you know, kind of have teachers and um, adults around me that told me that that was an important story. To, I think I think the um, the light skinnedness, right, the the uh, understanding that somebody could come from the background that he comes from and look the way he does and still have the cojones to like say what he did and and you know um and lead us in ways that that martin luther king jr was not doing um yeah i yeah i would say yeah. to all y'all um everybody knows i would imagine who's here tonight knows who malcolm x is but yes. if you have the opportunity to go to the public library or or the schomburg or whatever and uh listen to the archives of mm. his speeches it's pretty extraordinary, um, it, it, and just close your eyes and listen to his voice in your ear. It's Ooh. like nothing I've ever experienced. Um, when I was a when I was just fresh out of college, I did a, an internship at Blackside Productions. Blackside produced what? Eyes on the Prize, yes. um, and worked on a on a documentary called Malcolm X Make It Plain. And I remember sitting in the you know in 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 the basement listening to his speeches and just thinking how much I missed him, just his voice, and, uh, and the tenor, and, and the movement, and the, um, the courage. So I would enc encourage anybody to do and, that. And the evolution, too. I think, yeah. like, I the think it's, it's, it's important Absolutely. to know that you, you, yeah. you, 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 you know, you're strong in your convictions, um, and then you, you can learn things, and then you can do things differently, and you can, you know, and you stay strong in those convictions, but you also tweak and, and get better, and um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you were in a social environment that was predominantly black? Not in Hollywood, but I was with my family a month ago in D.C. A month ago? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, I was, yeah. It's been a month. Who's your favorite black woman artist? Ooh, um, can I do? Yeah. Okay, good. Because two yeah, women two. that were so integral to what I do with One Drop are Anna Devere Smith and Sarah Jones. Of course. I know. I'm like, you know, <laughs> as a matter of fact, when I was telling folks about you today, I brought I I, I brought those two women up oh my, to say, well, yeah. Ooh, thank you. I, yeah. Ooh, yes. I I studied their work and got to see both of them live, and I just yes, they're incredible, incredible artists. And then you get to ask me one question. Okay. Okay, um, can, yeah, sorry, uh, oh, I'll pretend like, oh, I can? <laughs> <laughs> right now, I've been like wanting to ask you this. Um, are, there, are there moments, so you talked a little bit about where you got to that point where you were like, 
I'm black. Fuck it, I'm black. But like, what wh- were was is there any specific moment? And and do there continue to be moments where you feel challenged in that or mm-hmm. question that even mm-hmm. for yourself? Mm-hmm. So you know, this is uh, a longer um, a story that may or may not get told. Um, uh, but I, you know, I was adopted. I met my birth mother, uh, I met my birth father, my birth mother and I, who is what, she's white, and I had a, a, a very difficult, interesting, bizarre, wrought relationship. Um, and at one point, when I was in my late 20s, she said to me, she overheard me talking to somebody else and saying, yeah, I'm black. And she said to me, you can't call yourself black. Any child that comes out of my body cannot call themselves black. She erased my blackness because she was my white mother. That was the moment where I felt like, you know what? Actually, I can and I will. And of course, all of the, the, the you know, previously painful, bizarre stuff that had happened in our relationship became crystal clear to me. But that was definitely the mm. moment where I was like, no. You can't erase that. Mm. And, you know, it's it's interesting. I don't know if you all watch Blackish <laughs> as I resort to pop culture. Um, but there was a wonderful episode about Bo trying to figure out her blackness and mm. and her white dad played by um, Bo Bridges. He was like, of course you're black. Yes. You're a black yes. woman in this world. And I think that that is such a gift in such the way if you are a white parent of a mixed race or a black identifying child and my husband is the same as a white um dad he's like of course of course you're a black kid you're mixed and black but you identify it as how you want to identify so i always think of that as affirmative action in the home right so (laughs) for real like yeah yeah my my mom was really good about that too like around aesthetics because that is really like that's very problematic for mixed kids right mm-hmm, is this mm-hmm. whole like oh you're so beautiful and she would right. anytime anyone would, and then she'd veer us off to no no this is what beautiful looks like and right you know she which would find is so real important so critical real critical yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we didn't even tell them that we're really sisters actually separated Did we birth. tell them we were yes we were no <laughs> thank you so much thank you. <laughs> thank, you you. So thank you thank you all for coming out thank you all so much <laughs>